Touchdown, James. Night, night, sleep tight, have sweet dreams throughout the night, James. It's nice, isn't it? We did these lights a while ago. This switch did five amps, and this one we put Quinetic in, which was to do these three spots up on this rail. What the client wanted, because they got this like Scandinavian high ceiling in there, <coughs> it stopped working. So we need to investigate why the Quinetic isn't working. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, mate. Might need to get me a screwdriver. JME. Yeah. Right, see, that says it's on. Can you flick, flick the switch? Yeah. Oh, no, I think, I don't know, is it loose connection or? In the wall? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, guess let me have a PZ then, mate. We'll take this cover off and we'll have a look. It's quite hard trying to do it and film it at the same time. Right. So that, that looks okay to me. What all James is going to do. Go on, mate. Yeah, you got... What have we got in there? Oh, how weird. 50... Six. Hold the switch down, mate. Yeah, keep going. That's it. Let go. Right, now click it back on. There you go, 241 volts. Are they on? Yeah. It was dimmed down. Yeah. She had it dimmed down, bless her. Yeah. All right, let me put this back together and come down. Well, that's back together now. Let me go back down and see old James. Let's have a look there, mate. Yeah, mate, thank you. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Mm. So there wasn't nothing wrong then at all? No. Off. On. So what she's done, she's held that down too long, dimmed it down, gone right down, and then they've gone off, and then, yeah, so then you need to hold that back in to bring them up. There we go. So that's off, and on. So once again, it's working bloody beautifully. There we go. Hi, Catty. The lights were dimmed right down. If you click and hold, they will dim. There we go. Beautiful. All right, there we go. That's that one done. What's the next job, James? Look at this. We've got to go and replace a 45 amp double pole switch that is on a it's an industrial immersion at a beauty salon, which we've got to go and replace. Um, one of them. The neutral's loose, so it's burnt out. Um, and also the van. Let's say bye-bye to the van. This will be the last video in the van for a little bit because the van goes back tomorrow. Forever. I've had it for five years. It's been great. It's been fine. Breaks down tonight when I go home. We're going left. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be working out of a car. I won't show it because I don't want it to be targeted by anyone. Um, but because obviously I'll have my tools in there. But yeah, we'll empty the, we've got to empty the van today. So we'll film that. And then I'm going to just reduce the tools down a little bit. So there will be a couple of bits for sale. If anyone wants to, um, is interested, chaser and a whole hog and whatnot. There's a few other bits I respect. But um, we're going to do this now. We'll try and film it if we can. Um, so we'll see you in a bit. He's a bad boy. Back in. Let's have a look then. Oh, that's nice, isn't it?
Right, if you saw that, well, you did see that. I just showed you. I've got a little belt off that earth. Obviously, they've wired some, um, I thought it might be supplementary used to do that. But I reckon they've piggybacked the lights, the lighting circuit off of that. So we had 101 volts. So I just touched it and I got a little belt. But yeah, that's all that was. Uh, burnt out switch, new, loose neutral and a piggybacked earth feeding the light in. So um, I'm going to go home now and have a brew try and get an air cut at some point and um, sort the van out. Right, that's it. We're gonna just empty this out, empty the van out, take the matting up, take the van bolts out. I'm not gonna show you where they're going or where stuff's being put, um, but we're storing it for now and I'm gonna sort the van out soon, basically. There we go, all cleaned out. Let's go and give her a wash. Right, there we go, all cleaned and ready to go. If you do pick up this van, DP69 UBE, give me a shout, you know I was at it. I'll let you know, they're a great van. It's cleaned and ready to go. There we go. So this will be the last video from inside the van. So yeah, I did this one on a five, five year lease deal and it was uh, 220 pound a month. I said, give me a quote for the equivalent van um, in its range, same as this, and it was £380, so that's nearly double. So I said to him, forget about it, come and get them, come and get them to pick it up, and I will sort myself out of van because um, I looked at it as 50 quid a week, and now it's almost £100 a week, so it's not really worth it for me. It's been great, don't get me wrong, if I was to lease another van, um, I would, if you could get the price right, but at the minute, it's, everything's sky high, so... I think they are going to struggle to get the old lease fans out the door. But yeah, thanks for joining us on another one. Bit random, but we shall we shall get some bigger videos out soon. Take care. Bye bye.